Our day began with an early ride on the tricycle. Our faces can't hide our excitement because today we are going on an island adventure. In the last episode, we had a beautiful and simple day with the family and tried some unusual food combinations. We arrived at the rendezvous point, Aunt Lila's house. We really left again to pick up the others. From here, we will walk to the beach and take a boat to the island. But first, let's take a look around the neighborhood. There's a little canteen in the yard where the workers from the nearby power plant come for lunch. I saw some wild edible fruits and asked my brother to help because I can't reach them. In some areas of the Philippines, these little fruits are called manzanitas, meaning little apples, also known as alateris. Mm. Tasty, eh? Tasty, eh? Oh. Very <laughs> sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. Вроде похоже с виду на кружовник, но по вкусу совсем другой какой-то не, не необычный, незнакомый вкус. Даже не знаю тоже с чем сравнить. Но очень ароматная такая вкусная. Meanwhile, these black fruits are called black plum or java plum. In Ilocano, they are called lomboy or duhat. It's a duhat. Duhat? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's tasty, yeah? Mm, this sweet. Thank you, baby. Похоже чем-то на нашу черешню. Только вот длинная. И вяжущий вкус. They taste the best if you put a few in a crumb container, sprinkle them with salt, and shake them hard so that the fruit softened and combined with the salt. The rest of the family has arrived, and now we are off to the beach in full force. To get to the boats, we have to walk through beautiful rice fields surrounded by coconut trees. We came across some fishermen. They are pulling fish from a net. They are mostly sardines and herring. We often put a lot of salt in them and dry them under the sun for a few days. When they are completely dry, they are fried in oil and served for breakfast. There is also another way of preparing. The fish is cleaned, then vinegar or calamansi and various spices are added. This dish is called kinilao. And today, we are going to try it. The Sito tried to climb the coconut tree, but after a few minutes, he gave up and let a professional do it. My sisters and I grew up in the same family, raised by the same mother. But our characters are very different. Glory Lynn is the calmest and has the most maternal instinct. I am the most independent, probably because I had to grow up faster than my other siblings. Danica and Daniela grew up almost the same time, so they have the most similar personalities. They are both hardworking academically. Dory Lynn is the most serious, the one you don't want to piss off. We had a happy childhood. We like material things, but are full of wonderful memories. When Boris was younger, he drew an island, unaware that at that very moment, he was already picturing his future. It never occurred to him that at the age of 37, he would be starting a life in the Philippine Islands. And here he is, 
eating coconuts on the beach surrounded by palm trees, waiting for the boat to take us to the island. Along with my wonderful husband, our mom, and a large Filipino family, we are off to our adventure. During the boat ride to Kabalitian Island, you can count more than 750 cages. This fish farm produces about 45,000 milk fish a year. When Typhoon hits Pangasinan, sometimes these cages get damaged and the Bangus fish swim off into the wild. Fishermen catch it with nets and sell it at a lower price. Once it got to the point where fishermen had to sell Bangus for 5 pesos a kilo and still no one wanted to buy. On the way to the island, we saw the Swal power plant. It is the largest coal-fired power plant in the Philippines. The farther we sailed from the shore, the more our boat rocked. It's a little windy here, but Bori and Mama are so happy and enjoying their first boat ride in the Philippines. Mom is smiling the whole trip, and we are glad to have her with us. The current was getting choppy, and the waves were getting bigger. So as not take any chances, our captain decided to drop Boria, Danielle, and I off this part of the island. He would come back for us in a few minutes. Нас высадили. В общем, будем ждать здесь, потому что волнение на море разыгралось, небольшая такая волна, и чтобы нас не заливало и мы не перевернулись, нас высадили здесь на бережку. И я не знаю, может быть, нам нужно пройти по этому островку куда-то вглубь дальше по пляжу. А может ждать здесь? Чего ждать? В общем, я пока не совсем понимаю. Водичка такая прям очень теплая. Я уж не знаю сколько градусов. Но очень. Прям парное молоко. We set sail again from the island to approach it from the other side. After a while, we are reunited with our family. They were lucky enough to find a great spot near a big tree. Приплыли, да? А я думала, вы пешком придете. Пешком далеко. The most wonderful part of the trip to the beach was the family picnic. We help each other prepare food. <laughs> Borja said that he's still amazed at the Filipinos. We get to work almost immediately and do it with gusto. I help prepare the meat for grilling and help prepare the fruits. I take great pleasure when I cook for my loved ones. It is my love language, and my husband is a very happy man.
Let's spread our picnic mat in the sandy beach and sat around it. Delicious grilled meats and vegetables, kinilaw or ceviche, and delicious fruit would be our lunch. Here in the Philippines, Filipinos often eat with clean bare hands. This is called kamayan or by hands. It makes eating more enjoyable than using cutlery. Barry and Mama enjoyed eating with their Filipino family the traditional way. The day is holiday here in the Philippines, so many people come to the beach to have a picnic and swim. Kabalitian Island is a small barangay in the municipality of Sual. The main source of income here is fishing, so many boats sail around the island. The island has electricity, water, and even an elementary school. Teenagers who attend high school have to take boats to Barangay Pangaskasan, where the nearest high school is located. There are several small resorts here, but most people prefer to pitch tents and camp. There's nothing better than sleeping to the sounds of nature. I tried to open a coconut with a kitchen knife. It took me a long time. I handed Bari the coconut I had just opened and told him to try it first. He still can't believe that coconut water can taste so good and is so glad he ended up in this beautiful country. Now that everyone has eaten and has more energy, we can go for a swim and enjoy the beach. Not only can you swim in this little island, but you can also explore cave, hike, and sightsee along the beach. 
we're going to explore it a little more. After a few minutes of walking and climbing the steep slope, we reach the top of the hill. From here, we have a 360 degree view of the surrounding islands and the endless sea. The view is truly breathtaking. We continue our exploration. To get to the next place, we have to go down this hill. At the bottom, there is a small cave and a lagoon. The lagoon has very clear water and rock formations are gorgeous. The most visited part of the island is the Limahong Cave. Swimming near the cave is dangerous. Several accidents has happened here before. But we decided to swim. We decided to go back because it was late. Glory Lynn cuts this beautiful bright papaya. This would be my Russian family's first time trying papaya in the Philippines. Thank you. Mm. 
Я никогда не думал, что папая такая вкусная. Мягкая, как дыня, а, а вкус еще насыщенней, ароматней. The day has come to an end and it's time to head back home. The sea becomes calmer in the afternoon. We are so glad we had the opportunity to visit such an amazing place with the most wonderful people. James and I had a paddle race. Our boat ended up losing. In spite of that, my husband is still proud of his island girl. We cast one last glance of this beautiful view before heading on. We still can't believe how beautiful the Philippines is. It really is a work of art. started to drizzle, making a very pleasant sound. It would be great to fall asleep to the music of the rain. In the next episode, тут бы, конечно, по таким склонам джунглей не в шлепках ходить, в какой-то обуви другой. А, но жарко. Что это? А, собака. Еще колючка какая-то ногу за ногу зацепилась. А, бамбук. <связывая>